The best analogy that I can give about a school library is that it's about nutrition. So if you imagine that your school library is like your, your pantry for your kitchen, all parents know that what we feed our children when they're young and developing and growing will impact them for their lives with their physical um, and mental health. And so we try to feed them well. The school library, if you have a thriving school library, it's like having the dream kitchen pantry. So you've got all the staples, everything's fresh. You've also got all the, the latest superfoods and you know nutritious, interesting ingredients. And so the meals that you prepare and the lessons therefore that you give, they taste better and they set that child up. By having a really good um, school library, you are setting those children up with their learning for a healthier future. It's exactly the same. So on, on the internet, some of what you find will be gems, a lot of it will be rubbish. Uh, libraries practice a certain level of quality control and filter. It's, it's not the library's job to contain every word that has ever been written by anybody. It's the job to provide the stuff that people most need to know and that will provide the most value. So that's why libraries are important because it's a safe space that kids can go to to learn things without having to necessarily um, always have that voice in the back of their head going, is this actually all rubbish? If it's in your library, it's probably not rubbish. Reading critically is important, but you can, uh, you can focus on learning instead of suspicion in a library, I think. Data by itself is a bit like giving um, a kid white sugar and a spoon and saying that's all you need, it's got calories. Um, calories by themselves are not enough for a healthy life. Data by itself is not enough for an education. Um, you need research skills. To have research skills, you need a teacher librarian.